Welcome to Rover YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you how to save your Microsoft Access report in PDF format. Basically, here I am explain you something like this. If you want to generate an individual report separately as a PDF, then this is the video you should watch. For example, your database might be a billing database in which you have an individual report and you would like to print each invoice separately. So this requirement can be achieved by this method. This video shows you how to save individual reports in a PDF format according to the MS Access database records. Okay, before going to the video, Please subscribe our Rover YouTube channel for more videos like this. Okay, let's go to the video. So this is the sample database I use to explain this process. So my sample database name is SupplyDB. So I have included one report. So here I have included one report and table for explanation purpose. So uh, my table name is supplier details. This is my table. It contains four columns, supply ID, supply name, supply address, supply mobile, and the uh, supply email. And also based on this report, I have generated, based on this report, based on this table, I created a report called RPT supplier. So that is the name of my report. So report looks like this. So I want to generate separate individual PDF documents for separate suppliers. For example, sub, uh, Clean Mart, I want to generate separate PDF and for Ashokabatic, I want to generate another PDF report, individual PDF reports likewise. So this is the way you should follow to do this. So firstly, I am going to design view in my access report. So here I want to add a command button. So I am going to add a command button to report header. So this is my command button. So I rename this button as save as PDF. Save as PDF. Then I want to change the name here. Just say CMD save. So this is the name of my command button. So I rename the name of my command button. Then I want to add VBA code for this purpose. Just right click on this button and select build event from this menu and you have to choose code build and press ok yes this is the vba window for my command button cmd save so here i use this vba code this is the vba code i use just copy and paste Now I will I will explain I, I will customize this VBA record according to my database then you can understand the process. Uh, then I saved the VBA recordings and also I will attach my uh, core VBA code recording uh, file this file under the video description so the so you can easily download the uh, VB code codes right so here you can see uh, this is the uh, my MS Excel application save then uh, here under the S report name you have to give you report name so my report name is RPT supply so I change the report 
name so i enter the report name as rpt supplier right yeah then the other thing is here i have a sql command so they are Uh, my report so my table contains supplier id instead of contact id so i change the values s id then supplier name and uh, my table name is supplier details so you have to enter these details for your own VB records according to database, according to the nature of your database. Yeah, supply details. Then the other thing, other change you should do is, so I want to save my uh, PDF files, individual PDF files by supply name. Therefore. I change this value to S name. Yeah, these are the changes you should follow. On the other hand, here uh, you have to give supply ID for the identification column S underscore ID. Here S underscore ID. So that is it. Then save the then save. Press Control S. Yeah, I save my code, then I can test the process. Close the VBG window, right, then go to the report view. Yes. Then I want to save this report, I, uh, then I want to uh, save individual PDF files for these reports. Then just press on the save as PDF. You can see, one, two, three, four and five individual supplier reports in PDF format created like this. So I'll uh, open the chair. I'll, I'll open the table. Then you can see these are the supplier names. And these are the reports for each and every supplier. They, these are individual PDF reports for each report. Yes, like this. This is how you can create individual reports for uh, separately as PDF. So I think you can understand something new and I believe you will apply this method for your day-to-day -day MS Access database. So if you need any clarification or if you have any question regarding this, please put a comment under my com video comment section then that is it for today then let's meet with an another video like this stay with us and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much